we're going to learn how to disperse Google Drive files to students using Doctopus. First thing you're going to do is create a new spreadsheet, then go to Add-ons. If you don't have the Doctopus add-on, you're going to go to Get Add-ons. But since I have it, I'm going to click Launch. Okay, and then we've got different steps here. Since we don't have Google Classroom, we're actually just going to distribute uh, Google Drive resources to a roster. And then you've got several options. You can see I've put in several test rosters here, um, but I'm going to actually select Build a New Roster. This is probably um, the one part that takes the most time is just making sure you have the roster in the right format for your classes. Um, once you have that, you can reuse it. So I'm actually going to choose to build a new roster on this sheet and then choose Create Roster. You can see that this made a new roster sheet and then it also gave me columns. So then I would go ahead and paste in um, student information or type it in. One great way to get your roster is to make a Google form with first name, last name, and email, and then you'll already have a spreadsheet with this information to paste in. Okay, and then we're going to actually give this a unique name. So for now, I'm just going to put Horn period one and then refresh. Notice here that I'm going to need to put Horn period one. And then you've got options to create class folders. Now, this is so that um, all of your students have a folder um, and you've got one for class view, class edit. Today, we're just going to look at one individual assignment, but if we wanted to do folders so you could reuse them, um, we'll go back and show how to do that later. Now you get to choose what kind of assignment and what access you want to give students. So you can see there's a definition for all of them here. For now, I'm going to choose individual all the same, meaning I'm going to deliver one individual document um, to all the students, so not groups or anything like that. The whole class level, maybe I want everybody to be able to view each other's work. Students, you can choose view, comment, or edit. I'm going to say I want students to be able to edit their work. Maybe this is an essay and I want other students to be able to leave peer feedback. Then I can choose comment only. Okay. Notice that you can add co-teachers if you want to, and then you click save and continue. The next step is to find the assignment that you're going to disperse to students. So this has to be an assignment that's already in your Google Drive. If you don't have it, then you'd want to go ahead and put it in your Google Drive in a special folder. So I'm going to choose the folder which houses the document. So I'm going to go to My Drive. And I'm actually going to search because I know the title is Doctopus Example. And then select. Then it's going to go ahead and load the files that are in that folder for me to choose from. So here I'm going to choose the SAT um, persuasive essay and save and continue. Neat thing is you get to choose how your students are going to title this essay. So you could have it say their first name, last name, and then SAT, essay number three, whatever you want it to be called. Um, and then you, you will have to have it a folder that will house those assignments. So um, you can choose existing or create a new folder. So we're just going to choose to create this new folder. Okay, save and continue. Now when we go to run, copy, and share, then you'll see that this document is going to be delivered to everybody on my roster. So they'll be able to find that in their shared with me file. And this will take just a few minutes to run through. So you might have to um, you know, give it a few minutes to make a copy for every one of your students. The great thing is when it's done, in order to see each of the students' work, you just have to click the link. So even if they haven't turned an assignment in, I can simply see where they are in that assignment on the due date and grade it as is if you want to. So um, yeah, all of your students' assignments, I only had one person in my roster, but all of your students' assignments will show up here. And then you'll notice that you'll also find it in your drive. So in my drive, here's that folder that was created, Horn Period 1, and this will be where all of your students' uh, documents are. So you can see them all in one place, and then the students, of course, will only see their own.